Good afternoon to my respected rector sir, judges, teachers and all my dear friends. My name is Sakshi Upadhyay and I am from class 9 and he is Onirban Dash and he is from class 10 and today we are going to demonstrate the model. And she is Ritika Sharma from class 9 and she has contributed in making this model. Okay, so today we have made a 3D hologram as you can see. In the making of the hologram we have at first used a cardboard. And in the cardboard, we have cut an angle of 45 degree and in that place, we have placed a transparent OHP sheet which acts as a holographic film. Now what we have done is that at the top, we have placed another cardboard and inside that, we have placed a mobile phone where the holographic video is going on. So in the holo in the inside the uh, transparent OHP sheet, the principle that here we are having is that the light from the video of the hologram is being reflected on the OHP sheet and as a result we can see an image of that video inside the OHP sheet. And as we have cut the angle in 45 degree, as a result we can view it in 3D. So now I would like to talk about what are the advantages of using a hologram. Okay. A hologram is used as it does not need any other uh, several, uh, any other different equipments such as a polarizer or a 3D glass or any other equipments to see a 3D projection of the video or the image that you want to see. Another advantage is that you can see or view a hologram from any angle and you will see a 3D projection of the image. It will not distract your vision. The other advantage is that when we are using a hologram, it does not affect your eyes and does not cause any damage to your eyes. You might know that a polarizer or a 3D glass that we use during watching a 3D cinema or a movie can damage our eyes, but a hologram will not do that. Now I would like to talk about the various uses of a hologram. A hologram is used in research and medicinal field so what happens is that in research and medicinal field the hologram is used to see a 3d projection of cells tissues and various other scientific structures so that the researchers and the doctors can examine that and come up with new ideas for medicines vaccines and other important essential things to help the mankind it is also used in the field of engineering where the engineers can make 3D projections of the various engineering compounds and the components and also to find out the various defects and the disadvantages of those components so that it does not create any disturbance while the constructions are done. Next, a hologram is also used in the field of advertisement and marketing. As you might know that Japan, China and other advanced countries have come up with the ideas of pre presenting advertisements and marketing over the 4D or 3D billboards above the buildings or on the roadsides. So it is also used in, the, in advertisement and marketing. Now I would like to give you an example of Indian origin. You might know that the Anandu Bajar Pochika has come up with the idea of advertising Anandu Mela. There they have used a holographic representation of a swan, which they are calling the Kalponar Bahon. Okay, and another field of uh, use where a hologram is used is that it is used in various high uh, advanced colleges, schools and other uh, facilities to make the students learn about various incidents of history, geography and various other incidents that they will find immersive due to the use of a hologram. Thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. We are representing Yellow House and today we will be showing fire model system. Before showing fire alarm system, we should know what is actually fire alarm system. Fire alarm system is a system that is designed to detect and alert occupants to feel the presence of fire, gas, carbon monoxide or any other fire related emergencies. Now basically fire alarm systems are of three types. What are those? Ionization based fire alarm, 
photo electric based fire alarm and combination based fire alarm but we will be depicting here ionization based fire alarm ionization based fire alarm has a least amount of radioactive material present in between the two charged plates which ionizes the air and cause to flow between the plates that raises the circuit to ring and thereby evacuate the people from that place good afternoon everyone now i want to explain the circuit that i have used in the ionization based fire alarm so now i want to show my demonstration in my project show the demonstration you all can see here my circuit is here so here i have used a battery okay after that the resistors a bc547 ntc a buzzer and also a transistor okay so now i want to explain the circuit like this here in this circuit we know that circuit consists of a red line and blue line and black line so the red line indicates the positive terminal or positive line the black color line indicates the negative uh, lines of the buzzer as well as the cell besides here this this symbol represents the transistor here we have used the bc547 transistor again this thermistor is the ntc uh, thermistor the main work of this is that when we will apply heat in this area then the heat will be tra transformed into electrical impulse and this will be carried out and transmitted to the base of the transistor and already we know from the negative terminal of the cell the negative charge is coming and being stored in the transistor whenever the means through the resistor it is going the charge of the cell it is going through the resistor because uh, it will maintain the balance of whole system of the circuit because we do, we know that if the, any flame comes it doesn't it uh, is it is not maintained in a proper way that the kelvin will be up in a particular extent or uh, something else like that so to maintain it up in proper way in a balanced way that uh, three resistors are used here so through the resistors the negative uh, charge is passed and stored onto the base of the uh, transistor and after that when the trans uh, ntc is getting the heat properly then the electrical impulse is passing through this line and it means uh, making the transistor very excited and that's why the negative charge is also moving here and hitting the buzzer or means we are representing uh, representing buzzer here as alarm now from the cell we know before in beforehand uh, the cell is receive, the cell is giving the positive charge to the buzzer so when the both charger charges are meeting in the buzzer or alarm so it will ring so it, it will ring in a proper way and make you alert before any hamper causes i want to show in my project how it works Now we can see that it's ringing. Now, whenever the NTC will cool down, that time the fire alarm will uh, stop ringing. This is how uh, ionization-based fire alarm works. Thank so you. So today we all have gathered here to discuss about a very important instrument that we all should have in our houses. It's the water level indicator. It is a system that is used to check whether a body of water has high water level or low water level. So without further delay, let's move on to the demonstration part. At first, let the system be started along with the flow of water. You can see whenever the water has reached the probe of the first sensor, the light has turned on completing the entire circuit. Similarly, the water is reaching at 40%, followed by 60%, 80%. At last, when the water is reaching at its full height, you can see the buzzer will turn on along with the red light. So this instrument is having immense importance in our daily lives. It's my personal experience. I have seen many houses overflowing waters from the tanks. So it's going to save a lot of water and also it will decrease human efforts. So let's move on to the applications now. So 
This water level indicator can also be used uh, in hotels, home apartments, complex, uh, commercial complexes, along with many factories uh, other than the water tank. Also, it can be used to predict the arrival of flood, uh, detect the amount of water in the groundwater, in the streams, and so on. Water level indicator indicates the water level and saves water along with a lot of energy, thus benefiting the environment. It also reduces the human efforts. It is eco-friendly and we all should try to have such a device in our homes as it is also pocket friendly. My name is Trishna Mondor. We are representing Red House and our model is vacuum cleaner. So we have made it by the used products which is already available at our home. So it is very much cost effective. We have used a used plastic bottle and we have recycled it. So in this way it is helping our environment also to uh, remove the pollution which is uh, which is being created in our uh, environment. Model vacuum cleaner is based on the principle, Bernoulli's principle. We know that the vacuum cleaner is based on the Bernoulli's principle. And then what is Bernoulli's principle? It states that if the speed of air increases, the pressure decreases and air will always flow from a high pressure area to a low pressure area. Here in vacuum cleaner, this is the intake part from where the air enters the vacuum cleaner and this is the exhaust part from where the air exists. There is a fan inside it which creates a low pressure by low pressure and the air from outside the vacuum cleaner reaches the vacuum cleaner and then exists the vacuum cleaner. 